everybody, my name is Kendra. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing like an unboxing for my previous BoxyCharm slash Ipsy uh, for the month of May and June. Since there's like four different ones together, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing so that this video isn't too long because the second portion of this video will have me trying the products or at least most of the products that are makeup related on my face for you to see. And if there's like a certain part in the video that you would much rather prefer watching, I will have uh, timestamps in the description box down below. So make sure you check that out and I'll have like all the parts listed so if you want to see a particular spot um you can just skip to it or if you want to watch it all that's awesome but that's just there to help you out in case you want to see a certain part but i'm just gonna quickly um say hey my name's kendra if you're new here i post beauty fashion uh lifestyle content on my channel um if you're interested in any of any of that sort of thing i would hope and greatly appreciate if you could push that subscribe button right there and we're just gonna go and get right into this unboxing so i'm just gonna take off the top here i know this is May's because june was boxy looks and it came in a bigger box so I know this boxy charm here is for May, so we're gonna open that. And the theme for May was Flourish, so this is what the car looks like. In case you were wondering what the design was, but it was for mo a Mother's Day theme since Mother's Day is in May. Well, the first thing that I see here is this Beekman 1802 Dewy Eyed Illuminating Eye Serum says it depuffs and fights dark circles with goat milk, colostrum, and milk probiotic. It's in this like pl clear plastic container there. Um, it kind of looks like a towel if I'm being honest with you. And that's why I'm kind of looking at it like it looks kind of like a towel. But maybe that's just the case. Yeah, I think it's just the case. But it comes in this white case drawstring. And then it has the product here. It has 0 0.5 fluid ounces. And this is what it looks like right here. And the card for that says that it is supposed to absorb into the skin, hydrate while helping to fight appearance of puffiness and dark circles. So that is a summary of what the card says that's supposed to do. Um, and this one here is in this, like, pretty ombre box. And I think the brand's called Tint. T-Y-N-T. Um, it says it's a haze, smoky eye pencil, and it says Pin, Pinot Noir. I think that's how you say it. But there's the box. And, uh, figure out where to open this in it. And then the pencil looks like this. It has that ombre effect at the bottom, which I like. I think that's pretty. I don't have that with my other eye pencils. And then the color looks very like deep burgundy. But right there's the color right there. I am pretty excited to try this out because I don't have eye pencils in that color. So I'm interested to try that out. Especially I think that would be a really good fall color burgundy it says the eyeliner is supposed to create precision and feather edges with a soft dab of a fingertip or beauty sponge it says it's a creamy formulation and it glides with ease and creates a soft smoky eye and a rich defined wing but yeah i'll try that out in this video this one here is um it says it's dry bar it says it's hot toddy it's a heat protectant mist and it says it's a lightweight spray and it protects dry hair from heat styling with curling, straightening, and styling irons. Which is nice because I have my Tresemme one and I think I gave my Paul Mitchell one to Hope, to my sister Hope. I always do want to try Dry Bar's products because I hear that they're good. And it's nice that I have this because sometimes I like to curl and uh, straighten my hair and I don't want to damage it. So it's nice to have something to spray on. But this back packaging, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good representation here without my lighting 
blind in the ever-loving crap out of it. And then the cap here. It has a very pleasant fragrance, and it's very a fine mist, which is nice. But yeah, I am excited to try this out. But the next thing I see in here is makeup brushes. They're like yellow and green. And it's from Lavish. And i gotten la Lavish brushes before in one of my previous boxy charms, But they were different colors like blue and, and, and pink and orange and green I think it was. Like neon colors. And I liked those brushes. I know there were some people that didn't really like them. But I liked use I like using them. But these are like different eye brushes from the looks of it. They're soft like their other ones. Although the other ones that I got before were softer than these ones. And a little more fle uh flexible, I guess is the word. Well you have like like um a variety of brushes like you got like a looks like a shader brush, packer brush, blending brush, one you could probably use for eyeliner here. And then like a pencil brush for the outer part portion of the eye. So that would be very interesting to try. And I'll see how what uh, I'll see what I think of these later on in the video. And then I think there's one yeah, one product left, and I think this was my choice item uh, for May's box. It says it's the Tarte High Performance Naturals shape tape glow wand and it says you can use this in a variety of ways i did hear that like the bottom here where like there's like a, a sponge in the bottom where you can apply it i like the idea of having the option to take it out to clean it and then once it's dry you can put it back in here you could even clean this out if you really wanted to and just made sure everything was like really squeaky clean before you put it the cat back on and I think that was a nice idea and that would be awesome to see more makeup brands do that for um, people who do like you know using these uh, sponge applicators yeah I don't know if I said what the, the shade name but the shade name is sunbeam um, and it's just kind of like Screw the cap. Well, it's like a flat dofa applicator. I don't know if it'll come across on camera very well. And I think it's supposed to be a highlight and you can use it different ways. Hold on. And this is going to be interesting to figure out, but you see that there? Right there. Hold on, look at my card here. Let's see what it says. It says it's an instant eye lift in a tube. Sheer liquid brighteners let your skin come through to deliver a natural lit from within youthful glow. It says it's diamond complex delivers a soft focus finish. Includes removable sponge on the go for on the go blending. It says the tart was $27. The Beekman product was 40 tail the lavish brush set is $30 the dry bar is $27 and the tint beauty eyeliner is $18 I'll make sure everything's listed on the screen with the total but that was May's I don't know which is Epsi's which month is which so I am gonna take whatever's on the top now I did open one of these and it's because this, my Ipsy bags take forever to get here. And there's a sticker on the shipping part, like where my address is. And it says, received, possibly damaged. And the bag looks pretty beat up. And it actually is, was ripped across. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. And then someone taped over that. So when I saw that it says that there is possible damaged items, I had to open it to see if any of my items came broke and they didn't thank god so i don't know what month this is but it's it has this little like bag here the zipper's like red here the theme oh this is june's the theme is do you 
And the first thing in here is this Ico liquid eyeliner. It says Black Magic. This is a deluxe sample and it says the full sample for that is $22. It says it, it's perfect for liquid liner novices. It creates smooth fluid lines in a single stroke and it says it won't smudge, smear, or fade for hours. And it says it has vitamins B5 and E to help condition skin. And it has this nice point, nice point here. This is what it looks like here. That nice black. It is wet. Let's see how long it takes for it to dry down. It looks like it's getting pretty dry. So we'll see. This one's grow, called Grow Gorgeous Intelligent Hair Care. It is a repair strengthening hair and scalp mask. I do like anything that's a mask and anything for hair and my scalp because I have to have some for my scalp because it gets itchy if I don't put something in there. That's what it looks like here. It smells really kind of like flower like, like maybe lilac or something. And it says this is a deluxe sample and the full size version of this product is $30. It's supposed to support for a healthy scalp with the ingredients that are in here. I'll list those right here. And it's supposed to strengthen damaged strands from within and leave my hair supposedly shiny, healthier, and more resistant to breakage. Which sounds awesome to me. I'm gonna have high hopes for this. And this was my choice item. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. It's in the shade Crush. I don't think I have any of their liquid lip- No, I don't have any of their liquid lipsticks. And I've always wanted to try them to see what they're like. And this is in a very beautiful nude shade. But this is the color here. And I'll do a quick swatch. It's the perfect nude for me. That's my perfect nude shade. It's like perfect pinky peachy nude right there. It looks so similar to that next one that I like using, the Stockholm one. It looks really, really pretty. I like it a lot. So I can't wait to use this. I know I'm gonna probably use this quite often on every day. That's a deluxe sample. T oh. So this is a deluxe sample too, but it says the full size version of this product is $20. And it says it's weightless, long lasting, and non-drying matte finish. And then this one here is called, it's from Pure Lease, which I don't think I've ever tried anything from them. It says pineapple bright cleansing gel for all skin types. It gently cleanses skin and hydrates skin. It says that pineapple is a powerful antioxidant and it helps remove impurities. Citrus blend helps to brighten an even skin tone. Vitamin C fights against free radicals. Camu Camu helps prevent premature aging and improved skin texture. Well, all these sound like good things that you would want in your product. It really does smell like actual pineapples. Holy moly. I'll have to try this once I'm done with my Kylie uh, face wash, which I'm almost done with. This is also a deluxe sample. And it says the full size version of it is $18. And it's says it's sulfate free, removes buildup and grime, and improves uneven texture, and it brightens your skin tone. And then I think there's one more, and it comes in this little bubble wrap there. It says YC Collection, and it's like a little quad, and these are what the shades look like. They're darker than like, I don't know what they appear to be. Do a quick swatch. Um, they're very pretty. There's just two shimmers and two mattes. They're down to bottom here. Why do I always pick swatches? And they look like very pretty everyday colors. So this looks like a very great size to put in your purse too. Um, this is deluxe sample, but it says if you want the full size, it is $24.99. So I'm assuming these are just four of the whole palette shades. Yeah, it says the, the shades that I got are Star, Creation, Light, and Kukui. It says from Rose Gold Foil to Warm Matte Brown. It says it's highly pigmented eyeshadow quad and it has all you need for endless summer eye looks. It says it blends and builds easily whether you're looking for a wash of color or a subtle smoky eye. I'm looking forward to trying this out in the um, trial portion of this video. But that was June's bag. 
I honestly don't think I'm gonna keep this bag. I'm probably gonna save it and keep it for like if I give it to someone else. Cause I think that looks a little too kiddish for me. And then I got my other Ipsy and this one doesn't have anything wrong with it. So this is May's and May's looks better. The bag looks better anyway than Jeans does. It's this pink and I'm thinking they're supposed to be roses but it's like a long outline design and it has like rose gold zipper and pink in here too so i will be keeping this for myself definitely and it even has uh pink inside there and i love the color pink in case you didn't know that it is one of my favorite colors um yeah this is maze flower power is the theme this is the card i know i didn't show you oh and this was june's card i don't know that was june's card um just gonna go right in here. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills product. It says it's their dip brow gel. And it's in the shade dark brown. Oh, it's a little guy. Look how small that sucker is. Holy smokes. It's always hard to do brow swatches, but this is what this shade here looks like. This little weird swatch there is like the dark brown shade this says it's the luxe sample i think it's more of a mini sample <laughs> all right but it says the full size version of this is twenty dollars it's supposed to add volume definition structure and natural look and tint and it's supposed to last 12 hours and this one is from sila it is a body lotion it says creme rose And it does have like a hint of rose. It's not overpowering. We'll try this out. It's really pretty packaging here. I don't know if you can tell. That's also a deluxe sample and it says it's the full size version is 30 tail. It says it has sweet jasmine, peach, and rose water scent. And it is supposed to give intense moisture. Um, this one's from Origins. It's their Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask and it clears pores. Uh, this one's a little dude too. Okay. This little dude here is full size version is $27. It's just supposed to clear up all the suck up all the dirt oil and dead skin cells that get stuck in your pores and it is supposed to make the skin smooth clear and less prone to breakouts which i am very prone to breakouts so here's the hoping and this one's from skin and co um this is their ultra gentle botanical face cleansing gel i got a big product but it was like a scrub and it was from BoxyCharm. So I'm familiar with the brand, kind of, um, in that sense. But I haven't tried anything other than that. It says it's perfect for dry, sensitive skin types. Two-in-one sulfate-free cleanser removes makeup and impurities. Has healthy ingredients. Rich black truffle, soothing cucumber, and caladula extracts. And papaya. Here's the hoping. And I think there's one more thing in here. And it's this Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer. And I do need eye, more eye primer. It says the difference between eyeshadow it smears in seconds and eyeshadow lasts for hours. It says wear worn under your favorite cream or powder shadow. And it says it prevents pigments from creasing, fading, or flaking. And this is the full size. And it's $16.50. It's really cute. Like look at that. Look how cute that is. I think I got something like, I got something from Beauty Crop before and FabFitFun and I ended up giving it to Hope, who is my sister if you didn't know. And she has her own channel. And I'll link it right there. This really is a big right here. Stuck on you. But yeah, that's what that is. And I would say that was a pretty good bag. And this here is Boxy Lux. The theme was Dare to Dazzle. The first thing I was, uh, see and I'm excited to have because I've been wanting this for years is the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. And it's this perfect pink peachy um, blush. And it has like a shine to it from what I have seen right here. And then open it and it has that little plastic thingy in there. But it looks like this. 
Ooh, it's really shiny and pretty and right there. It's really pretty. And I can't wait to use this here. And it says that this blush is $30. And this here is from Earth Harbor. And it's their Sunstone Hair Revive Elixir. Has seaweed and jasmine. Box looks like this. And I have gotten stuff from them before. And this is what the bottle looks like right here. And... This guy here is $30. And the next product is from Dr. Brandt. It's the Triple Antioxidant Face Cream. It smooths wrinkles and prevents signs of aging. The size of it, it looks kind of like a deluxe size. And it says that this is $64. It's a new launch, it says. It says it's supposed to... Provide skin with 12 hours of protection from damaging free radicals and external aggressors. It has A3 power, dynamic shield boosted antioxidants, anti-stress ingredients that help preserve youthful appearance. So we'll see about that. I think this was my choice item. It's like in this box here. It's a cool steam eye mask. It's supposed to give intense hydration and reduces dark circles and puffy eyes. But this is what it looks like in the box here. And it has like gels, liquid gels on the inside here. So that'll be interesting to try. And it says that's a new launch and it costs $49.99. This event... Hyaluronic lactic, vitamin B3, mint, glycerin, collagen. There's a, uh, oh, it's a lip serum. So there's avant hyaluronic acid replenishing lip serum. And it's just clear. Clear. And how much is this? Really? It says this thing here is $122. Get the hell out of here. Item in here with the lid up. It's from Benefit. It says it's their brow styler, which is kind of pretty cool because there's two sides. Mine's in the shade 3.75 Warm Medium Brown. And it's just long here. I would put it like this, but you can't. I don't know if you can see it. And it's like a pencil side here and like a kind of like a liquid side there. So that's pretty interesting. And it makes this cool looking. It makes that sound here. And it says this is supposed to retail for 34 and it's a two-in-one wax pencil and powder. So that's what that is. Alright, and this thing here says it's from Smith French Dublin. Fresh green leaves. It's a hand wash. It says wild pine, woodland mint, and rosemary. So that's what this big beast here is. Um, and it says it's $25. And there's one thing left in here and I was hoping that this would be in my box. Luckily it is. It's from Alimus and it says it's their superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. It's supposed to melt away makeup and daily impurities. It's supposed to leave skin looking healthy, fresh, and glowing. It helps to brighten skin with pumpkin enzymes and ace rolla cherry mango butter and chia seed oil nourish and hydrate the skin since it's a new launch and i hope i like this better than their um gross it's the green line they have that stuff stank i could not use it all but hopefully this doesn't stink as much as it did with their green line there it sounded interesting by what, what like the description it's a chunker looks like this it's orange here the card says it's $38 I have one more box to show you and it's just stuff that I picked out as like add-ons for boxycharm and I just wanted to show you those really quickly they come like a big box and I didn't even pick that many items out and I don't understand why they gave me a big box but you can always recycle it. But the first thing here that I picked was the ABH Norvina collection. And it is the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3. And it's right here. And then it looks just like the cover. It has like little butterflies on them too. And I think that's pretty cute. Because I like butterflies. 
they're really pretty i'm not gonna swatch all of these colors because there's so many of them but i will put a picture here of swatches these are the shades here they're very pretty you have some very bright colors and a few i would say kind of neutral colors and it looks like a very fun colorful palette it looks like a really cool palette for fall too so i'm very excited to try this in for a try on portion of this video the other thing i saw was this becca collector's edition shimmering skin perfector pressed um it's in the shade champagne pop and um i never tried this highlighter and i've always heard people like talk about the shade because it's like a staple shade so i wanted to pick it up and it's like a special packaging it has like gold glitter on it i hope my um lighting will pick it up pretty good but here is like the back it's really pretty and then it's the shade here and we'll swatch swatch it's very pretty i wanted to try this for quite some time i hope that can show up very well it's really pretty i'm excited to try that i wanted to try it for a very long time other thing is another Becca product. It's their Ultimate Lipstick Love and it's in the shade Blaze. It's a really pretty pink color and I like pinks. That's my one of my favorite colors. Um, but it's this color here. And I'll do like a little swatch here. It's like the perfect pink. It's really beautiful and I can't wait to try to um, test this out. It's got like a really nice little magnetic click when you close it. The last one is from Symbiosis London. It's a salicylate plus Zin Sedone blemish treatment serum. It looks like a deluxe sample sized. Um, but I have acne and I was hoping this would help with my breakouts that I get. So I'm excited to try this. And I hope that it helps with my acne. Now we're going to go on the try and portion of all of the products that I showed you. I'll try and fast forward certain parts so it's not as long. If you want to see what all these products look like on my face, then uh, just keep watching. Okay, so I already got my ears, my cat ears on. So I guess we'll start with putting BoxyCharm for whatever type of makeup products that I didn't get in. BoxyCharm or Ipsy, then I'll just have to make up for it for what I have. So... I have an eye primer. It's from the Beauty Crop. And it's the Stuck On You Eye Primer. And this little cute little glass there. Gonna zoom you in now. I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna apply it to my lid. It feels kind of oily, kind of smooth. It is like really oily but I, it does lose it's kind of like it's oiliness as it sets i usually like to do the eyes first so we got two different palettes we have this one here from ipsy and then we got the uh, norvina palette so i'd like to use both i kind of want to try and make this as simple as i can get it to be i'll go in with b5 put it in my crease all right now we'll try this again if this one i'll like I will not use Morphe concealer this time around. I did not like how the first two looks went. So I was like, I have to redo this. I do not like it. For the sake of this video, I, I want to keep it as simple as I can. Um, I wouldn't mind playing around with these funky colors another time. I just kind of want to get this video up. Because I have more videos coming. I have more boxy charms and ipsies. Currently in the corner of my room. I want to use this little quad that I got from Ipsy. I think maybe this shade um, right here. I'm going to place it on my lid here. Hold on, I'm going to get my mirror so I can see down here. It's a nice, pretty, um, everyday look. Uh, to deepen this up, I might go in with E2. Hopefully that doesn't look really bad. I 
guess I get like a little, little brush and fluff it out a little bit. Blend it out kind of nice. I don't want to go too crazy there. So I guess we'll do the other eye here. So I'm going back in with B5. And we're going to put that in the crease. Alright, going back in with this quad, the shade here. It says it's called Creation. I think I'm placing this on the lid here. Also gotta look at my clock here. Cause I gotta make sure I put the thing in. I don't know if you can tell, but oh look how pretty that is. And then I go in with that other color in this palette E2. Yeah, it's gonna stick it towards the outer corner a little bit. It's kinda tapping it in there. I'm going to try and blend that out. Let's kind of work it in here. Alright, that should do it. So next, I like to do eyeliner and... I got two liners. I have this one from Tint, I think is what's called, and I have one from Aiko, I think is how you say their name. I'm gonna put the liquid liner on my lid here and I'm try and zoom in there for that one there. Try and do like a very thin line, but I cannot promise that. It's really wet when you apply it. So you gotta be very careful. I have a very good hand. It's like as wet as like the ABH one. I'm really scared to move my eye. No, I'm hoping this will dry down. But it does look very pretty. It's just like a very wet eyeliner. I didn't get any mascara, so we'll have to improvise. While this eye dries more, I'm gonna put mascara. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. And we're gonna apply it to my eyelashes. looks pretty. So then we'll do this eye here. outer part needs to be worked a little bit. Go on with my mascara again. Now, by the time that I'm filming this part, um, I had already picked out um, one of my products for Boxylux for September. And I'm so excited. It's one of the rare beauty products. And I've always wanted to try Rare Beauty because I love Selena Gomez. Alright, both 
is what I got going on so far here. I'm going to go off camera real quick and clean up my eye area. And then we will continue on with this look. Alright, so while I was off camera, I cleaned up my eye area. And then I just went along and put primer, foundation, and powder, and then spray. And all I did was use the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer on um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Tinted Moisturizer. I'm in the shade Fair N. And I used the Urban Decay Powder to set it. And then I used my MAC Fix Plus. And I also just discovered that I was supposed to use these brushes for this video. But I totally forgot I had them lay in here. So um, I guess I'll have to try it out another day. But now we're going to do highlighter. And I only got like two of them. I got like this Tarte one. And I got this from the Boxy Pop-Up. Like the add-ons. It's the Becca Champagne Pop. It's like a limited edition like packaging. So this might look a little weird. Putting in like a liquid and a powder. But we'll see how this goes. Because I think this product you can use it for whatever. It says it's in the shade Sunbeam. That's the one I picked. I'm going to zoom you in here. So we're going to do the, put this on my cheeks. Cheekbone or whatever. Now, I don't know if that was too much or not, but we'll see. I wonder if this little sponge applicator works. Alright, let's try it. I would much prefer my finger. But it's right here. It looks pretty. And now I'm going to put champagne pop on top of that. It's just going to, ooh, yeah, it's going to look a little, ooh. Oh my. Might have to put some foundation on top of that. Da da da. I didn't expect for that to be that gold. Let me just tap some of this over it. So we'll do the same as we did on this side on my cheekbone. So I guess just like apply right there. I'll do this like again. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. I probably should have used my um, Luxie uh, highlighter brush for that one. Would that have been a little better? I'm just gonna do what I did there and have a little on there. Oh, that's pretty. I'll use this pure brush and got this like NARS blush and orgasm uh, from my Boxy Lux. And we're going to test this out on my cheeks. This is going to be the blush in all its glory. I don't know if this- oh my lord, this looks comical. Oh my, yeah. That's not good at all. Mm, I'll put a little bit on this side. I don't know there's people who are like really like in love with blushes but like I was never that person that loved to have like blushes. I'm very intimidated by it. I think it looks very pretty but it intimidates me because I always feel like when I put it on I look like a clown. So now I guess we're going to do brows. I got two different brow products. I got a Benefit one and I got a Anastasia one. We'll give this a go. Now remember, I'm not a brow expert. Okay, let's go really white.
trying to deal with what we got here because I don't know where I don't have a put my Anastasia brow gel it's like a dark brown shade they gave me like a little beanie any bitty sample uh, oh 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 my Well, that definitely changed my eyebrow color from what it was to this. Guess we'll try the other side. And I do have spaces in between my like eyebrow area so I don't see any hair so it's kind of hard for me to determine alright let's try and go for comical looking brows as if this wasn't comical enough I hardly took that much product out I have these two lip products here, but they're both different colors, so I'm not really sure how that's going to go. Well, I guess I can stick this Becca lipstick I got from a boxy pop-up, I think. And it's in the shade Blaze. It's really pretty. I'm just going to put this on the lips. This is very comical looking, I will tell you that much. I guess place this on top. Maybe I'll place it on top here. Oh, right. I used all of the makeup products except for my brushes. Let me go get some concealer and I'll need to clean this up and then I will show you the final look. Alright, so this is the final look that I came up with. Um, my brows look very comical and I do apologize. I don't have like my brow uh, brush to fluff it up a little bit, but this is what I come up with here with the products I have. Actually, I forgot the eyeliner. Where is that? Let me put this on real quick. Sorry if I freaked you out there with how close I was. And let me put some of this mascara down below. But yeah, this is the final look. Um, let me pull my hair down. Alright, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate if you would please um, subscribe to my channel and be part of my YouTube family. I will see you all again next time, everybody. Um, bye! Yeah.